All right, use, let's use Pathfinder to talk to our GPS unit. So what you can't see here is that I've plugged in the Trimble to the USB drive on the computer. It comes up with this Windows Mobile thing here. And this is trying to connect to Outlook and sync your calendar and all that stuff. We don't need any of it. So we're going to connect um, without setting up your device. We just want to make sure this comes up because Trimble is going to need this connection for it to work right. All right, next thing I'm going to do is run Pathfinder. Now with Pathfinder, every time you use it, you got to make sure that you set up your project file correctly. So either select an existing project that you've got here or create a new one. Um, so double check here. So I'm going to use what I set up earlier, the urchins folder. And so this is where I'm going to end up copying my files. And again, Pathfinder tries to keep track of everything. So for the most part, uh, we want to use this setup. Maybe. The circle of death. All right. That seems to have worked. So now I'm going to connect to the Trimble. I'm going to go to uh, Utilities and Data Transfer. Now, what you check in here when this comes up is if the Windows Mobile stuff worked right and everything's happy is that I'll see that it's connected. Um, sometimes I've had to disconnect and reconnect and that's worked. If I've had problems, sometimes I have to switch and use a different USB port. So here's where I can send files to the Trimble, like a data dictionary file or a background file, or I can receive and grab data that I've collected. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> say add data file. So here it's going to scan the main memory on the Trimble. Uh, and it's going to look for newer files and highlight those. Got a lot of stuff on here. Um, so depending on um, your date and time, you're going to want to pick out your files. So hopefully you kept track of that. And if not, um, you can uh, find this by looking at the, the date and time that will show up here. Now sometimes you can store things on the SD card, and that's a subfolder in here. So I look in here, and there's nothing that's been saved on there. So if the main memory ran out, you might have something there. So I'm going to go back, uh, and I'm just going to select a couple files here and see what we've got. And say open. That gets added to my list of things to transfer, and then transfer all copies it. Now this is a copy. It stays on the Trimble, so it's there in case I need it again later. You really want to pay attention to these messages that um, Pathfinder gives you just to see if there's anything wrong. So two files successfully transferred. If that wasn't the case, I'd want to click on more details to find out what was going on and why that didn't work. All right, so we've been able to transfer files from the unit to our computer, and we could use the same procedure to go the other way.